Howdy doodly or doodly howdy. Either way, hello. I look like a frog, don't I? Hello. Um, <coughs> wasn't planning on doing a video today, but I'm doing one. Reason is things have gone a bit peak tall. Um, it's more of a I suppose a tip, I suppose, if you're going to do this job. Make sure you're able to entertain yourself. Find things to do. Um, I'm in for a bit of a big wait here. Because of my customer and manufacturer are having a bit of a disagreement. It's nothing to do with me. It's them. So, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care. Let them fight it out. I've done my job. Um... I think that's what I can do. I just gotta wait for the old uh, higher taller now to make decisions. But the annoying part is the manufacturer is sending people out from the uh, factory to where I am to inspect said product with customer to see if the issue can be resolved. That's me putting it diplomatically and politely. So. I've been sat here yeah, kind of three hours now and I know the people who come in here got at least another hour and a half, two hours away. So still got another two hours. And it's Friday. And I would really love I should have been on my way home. I should have pretty much now just be parking it up and going home. But I'm not. I'm uh, sat up here in the glorious sun. It's a lot cooler today, but it's a beautiful day. Um entertaining myself. If you are going to do this job, like I said, make sure you can entertain yourself because you can spend hours, I've even waited days for things to be sorted out. It's not my fault. <coughs> it's the customer and the manufacturer or whatever. Let them have their little argument. I've, um, sorry, doing paperwork. Um, I don't care. I'm getting paid for being sat here, so that's the way I look at it. They, um, I said, let them fight it out. Yeah, a lot of boys will bring, um, like I read books, magazines, um, obviously your laptops, surf the internet for hours on end, whatever you're searching for or looking at or shouldn't be looking at, and um, watch DVDs, box sets. That does my head in a bit. Or sleep. But you're not going to sleep in this, it's just too hot. Um, myself, I normally pot around in the lorry, clean things up and get the polish out. But yeah, you, you do need to be able to entertain yourself. The amount of drivers I just see lose the plot because they've had to sit somewhere for three or four hours or whatever, which it is frustrating, really frustrating, because it's nothing that, it's, we can't do nothing about it. we got to wait for the phone calls off the right people <clears throat> before we can take stuff back or go somewhere else with it and so on and so forth. The only thing I can do is every once in a blue moon or whatever, go down, say to them, you know, any news. They'll say no or yeah, and let me know what's going on. And there's no point whatsoever in being a ass. Just got to sit there. It is what it is. So yeah, it's um, not good today. It should have been a really, really easy, nice, straightforward day. Like I'm only about... <clears throat> only about an hour from the yard so uh, mm. yes it's um, what's the trailer number <coughs> yes yeah, so it's gone a bit um, peaked on I'm quite lucky because just down the road but there is um, a little shopping centre which I took a stroll down um, picked up my bits and bobs that's it to eat it's a little, nice little uh, snack bar there and uh, come back to the lorry. This is where being self-sufficient is really good. Because if it wasn't nothing outside, it makes no odds to me. I can make food, like baking sandwiches or something with pasta or anything, you know. So I am going to worry. I always carry enough food to last me two or three days. Um, plenty of milk, get water here, so 
job's done. So yeah, quick little uh, hot tip video, I suppose. It is quite, shouldn't laugh, but it is funny when you see drivers and they start losing their plot because they go, oh, I'm stuck here, I want, it's this Friday, i got to be home, I need to be home, I've been out all week. I've been out all week. Can't do nothing about it. Eh? Just got to let them deal with it, really. You know, you can't, uh, just a drive, just the driver. I drive the bus. I drive the bus. That's all I do, man. I drive the bus. So I'm gonna sit by ya. Just finishing catching up on all my paperwork. Uh, just cleaned the truck inside. I'll uh, have a little bit of a whip round on the outside now again. So all I gotta do when I get back, drop a diesel, paperwork in, out the door. We don't really want this on a Friday. Not at all. And like some places, if they can see you being a dick about things, they'll quite happily just keep you here longer anyway. So, there's no point. I was stuck in a place the other day, Wednesday. Uh, fair play, the guy, really nice guy. He came up, he said, oh, I'm awful sorry. I said, well, you know, are you going to eat him for a wait? My response was, I don't really care mate, I'm here on time, <clears throat> I've done my bit, give me a shout when you're ready. Oh, oh, you, you don't mind, do you? No. Really, I do mind, because I want to be in, I want to be out, I don't want to be hanging around, but there's no point in doing anything. You can't. What are you going to achieve? Nothing. You just get extremely bad blood pressure. Of which I did when I first started driving. Really badly. So, anyway, I'll uh, speak to you in a minute. Doodles. Right, still bored. So, uh, I'll give you a tour of the Mighty 440. Passenger seat. Back up, I've got to go away. Oh, steady. Better. Um, that's got to go away. So is that. Um, Self-explanatory, passenger seat, passenger side, and then we have lockers, one, two, three, which is paperwork, me clothes, food stuff, oh, yeah, it's melting, yeah, so, I said lockers, Bag of clothes, come out for a week. Uh, cereal, food stuff, cleaning. Ah, uh, shut up. Right, and we have driver's seat, dashboard, yes, comfy slippers, uh, bunk. Where I lay my head and my fridge. A lot of drivers keep them on the, the seats by you. I don't like it, it just looks untidy. Um, so, yeah, bottom bunk, top bunk, which is storage really. Um, and three boxes I actually go, got truck cleaning stuff in them. So, yeah. Carry a lot. Um, what else we got? Oh, sit back down. Yeah, I uh, keep my fridge up here because uh, they drive them on the seat and I, I just don't like it. I just think it looks untidy. So does that, but I'll be put away now in a minute. <coughs> we have, what else we got? Oh, under here, we have the, the drawer of chaos. We don't talk about the drawer of chaos because um, there's chaos. And then we have another cabby by here, which is actually drawer number two of chaos. So, uh, yay! And that uh, dashboard. Steering wheel. And I don't know if you notice, 
No magic -y stick yet. Three pedals. It's like uh, semi automatic. Back in a second. Right, back. The uh, grown ups turned up, and they still have made their mind up. So, two are the outside. Uh, let's see, right, we got 6x2, which carries 44 ton. Uh, we got a uh, fifth wheel coupling, which is that. And if you're wondering why I dropped the trailers, because I just done the catwalk. We have back track, uh, net, ropes. And a spare sheet, quite handy that sheet is. So, one side. Like I said, the mighty 440. Front. And. Driver side. So, yeah, um, older side locker. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Just basically straps and all that type of stuff. Um, we've got quite sad doing this really, but hey ho, I'm bored. And um, to the side. If you think your diesel bills are expensive, that's 250 litres. So it's about, oh, I don't know what that'd be now, 300 quid to fill that one. And put the other one on our side. <coughs> I think that an average, average day I fill up, I oh, use in excess of 300 litres a day. So uh, yeah, expensive to run, very expensive, so we're going to enjoy the weather a bit more because they still don't know what's going on and uh, I don't know, I might go back out and get myself something to eat now. There's no air kit on this one because we don't uh, really carry flats, there's no need for an air kit really. Sometimes they look better when naked, sometimes they don't. I quite like it without naked. Back. I think I've been here uh, five hours now. And uh, sweltering. They've decided to tip me. Cool. However, they're going on dinner. It's just taken them about two and a half hours to tip the other boy who was behind me. Can't predict this job. So, oh well. I feel strange doing this walking around with a camera in my hand. But yeah, so like I said, there's the beast. Earns my money every week. That's all I want. I wouldn't turn down a V8, mind. Just saying. Right, um, I got a couple of back up and uh, go back over to that direction. No, no, yeah, that direction. Let's see if I can get tipped. On the good side, they've got gantry. So I can reach the top of the cab to finish the polishing off. I'm in the bay. Can't fault that. So, sorry the video's been a bit pants, because it's just me bumping my gums and nothing else really. But it's just the joy of the, the downtime in this job. It um, can really kick you in the teeth. Like I said, I've been here now six hours. 
Um, it took it took him two and a half hours to tip the last lorry, which was behind me, which got tipped before me. Um, yeah, I think it took them about two hours to tip him. So I'm still looking at another two hours here. So check the safety rail up front. I'm going to put two posts in and run a strap down the side. And uh, I'm going to go and get something to eat myself back out with it. Just run about a five minute walk. Um, and they run dinner anyway. And then uh, took the loft back home. Yeah, but like I said, it's downtime sometimes can suck. It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it tends to happen for quite a long period of time. I don't want to be sat here all day. No matter where there's like this, it's beautiful outside. Um, just got a smile. You know, told my office what's going on. That's all I can do. But I will say, if if you have um, problems with customers or anything like that, always inform the office. There, let them know. Put the ball back in their court. You're not paid to think. That's why we get told. Um, like I said, as soon as I found out there was problems with this, phoned up my office. Yeah, no problem. Keep us informed. And that's all I've done. There's not a lot they can do because we're the third party. Obviously, it's between the customer and manufacturer. Well, they'll let them get on with it. But yeah, always, always put the ball back in their court. Always cover your ass. Always cover your ass. If it's a stupid, if it's, even if it's something stupid, just let them know. They can't turn around and say, "Oh, why didn't you tell us? You were sat there that long." You know, told my office. Okay, that's all he keeps saying is keep me informed. But that's all I've done. That's all you can do. It's um, mind you, some companies will just continue to chase you as well, mate. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Same thing as five minutes ago. Sweet fudge all. Yeah. So, all right. Two little people, and uh, catch you on the on the next one. Oh, I've done three this week. Unusual for me. Seems we had such a dry spell. That was my fault. Because my phone is useless. Alright, turtles!